It's Saturday, January 27th, 2018. I, I like to put the date on the videos just in case uh, people sit there and go, what he's talking about is old and stupid. How long ago was this? Oh, he told me the date. Don't even have to worry about it. Okay, so it's Saturday. So it's a uh, my tens, which are my top tens of things that I want to top ten. Um, admittedly, I love top ten lists. I, they, I, I watch way too many of them. I mean, I've... I'm a subscriber to like Watch Mojo and List 25, even though it's a top 25 list. But I still, I, I love, I don't know. Uh, you know, I'm a numbers guy. I like lists. You know, so sue me. Don't sue me. I don't have anything. I, I have, as you can tell by the walls, I'm very, I have, I'm very minimalist. Minimalist. It's not a word. What I'm going to do is uh, my top 10 most anticipated games for 2018. Now, what you probably know is that my list looks a lot different than the list that you're seeing out there right now if anybody watches it you'll know it's very different <clears throat> uh, I'm big into racing games and trying to figure out if games will be easy or not and so that I could get through them with the limited time that I have to play them so uh, with that we'll start and uh, I'm going to give it a, a honorable mention I realize there's only like so far that I know of and these are rumored games that are either supposed to come out in 2018 or have been announced for 2018. But what I've noticed is, right now I don't have a lot of games in 2018 that I'm really looking forward to. I found 11, and I have all three of the major consoles. I have an Xbox One, I have a PS4, and I have a Switch. And I can only find 11 games that I really, really would think that I would spend my money on. So I'm hoping later in the year somebody, somebody released something. Although these... These 10 games I could probably get a lot of, uh, of hours out of that, you know, in the limited hours I have to play them, I, I could probably still be very happy. So we'll start with number 10, Crackdown 3. Now, I've been looking forward to this game for a while, ever since I saw the, you know, the tech demo uh, years ago at E3. Uh, it's always looked like a very cool game, uh, destructible environments. You know, I'm sure that the, the actual destructible environment um, in the, the single player game probably won't look the way it does. I mean, you know it's not going to look the way that tech does. Even though the, the tech now is like two or three years old from the first time we saw it. Excuse me. It, it still looks like a very fun game. Um, you know, open world. I like open world sandbox games. Once I get past the initial few missions usually, I'm usually just running around and blowing stuff up. I mean, Grand Theft Auto V... I've, I've made it to the mission where you have to go get Michael's kid off the boat. But I've still put in hundreds of hours into Grand Theft Auto Online. So, you know, I, I've barely gotten anywhere in the game, but I've still had a ton of fun with it. Uh, number nine. This is a game probably not a lot of people have got on their top ten list. Uh, and I don't know a ton about it, but it's a racing game, and it's called Gravel. So, yeah, we have our dirt game. Well, here's Gravel couple things I'm worried about. It's listed as a $50 game, which means budget title almost, in my opinion. And I'm hoping that doesn't mean a very... It, it, they say, well, it's made with Unreal Engine 4. It's like, oh, great. So it'll look smooth, but will it play right? Will it be fun to play, even? Um, what I can see on the game, it just, it, it's, a, it's a new racing IP... I want to try it out. It's like only for I think it's only for the PS4. Uh, so uh, I don't play as much on my PS4. My Xbox One does all the heavy lifting usually for most of my games. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I like the Xbox One. It's, it's my it's it's the my system of choice out of the three that I have. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to it. It's another racing game. It's a dirt racing game. Will it be as good as dirt? Probably not. It's the first in their installment. So I doubt it's going to be as anywhere nearly as polished as dirt. Um, polished dirt, that's that's redundant. That's that's not even redundant. It's polished dirt is like uh, oxymoron. I don't think you would polish dirt. Maybe the maybe the MythBusters have tried polishing dirt, but let's not do that. It's a waste of time. Doesn't dirt? No, that's sand. It becomes glass. Okay, number eight. This one is actually sort of a surprise for me. Spider Man. Sony's making a Spider Man, or Sony has a Spider Man game coming out. And I, I don't like Spider-Man, but the game looks like it's going to be a blast to play. So who knows? Maybe after this game comes out, I'll become a Spider-Man fan. 
right now I'm not, but that game could turn me in well because it looks like a ton of fun. Uh, and the only reason it's not higher on the list is because, like I said, I'm not a Spider-Man fan. Uh, number seven, Ace Combat 7. It has been a long time since I have played an Ace Combat game. In fact, the last one I might have played was the original Ace Combat way back on the original PS1. I mean, I still have the original hard case for that thing. And I mean, not the little CD jewel case. We're talking the ones that were a bit as big as DVD cases. Mine actually has survived and is not cracked and blown up into oblivion. So I haven't played one in a while. This one seems to look really, really, really cool. It's more of an arcadey flight game than... I, I don't do flight sims because I'm just not smart enough to look at all those dials and stuff. And I know that I would not like... I, I, I've tried flight sims. They're, they're not for me. I, it's just a good thing I don't fly planes for a living. Okay, so uh, number six. This one, the only reason this one doesn't go up higher is because I don't know if it's going to be easy enough for me to really play and get that far into. Far Cry 5. I've never played a Far Cry game. Never wanted to play a Far Cry game. Far Cry 5 looks awesome. Just the stuff I've seen people playing it, it looks like it would be a ton of fun. But what I'm hearing is, is that it might be a little bit more on the difficult side, which for easy gamer like myself is not probably going to translate well. But I'm hoping that I can dig up something, because I won't get the game at launch, but I'm hoping I can dig up something. I'll get it when it goes on sale at some point. Um... And I'm hoping I can dig up something to figure out if it's got an easy mode to it. And then I'll play it. Uh, number five. Now this is where you're going to start to to see a little bit. Um, these are on people's lists. Some of these are. Number five, Crew 2. The original crew, very slippery driving. I hated the little... Because a lot of racing games, they put a line on the ground that tells you where the braking zones are, where you're going. It basically draws the line for you. In this, they had it kind of above your head. And they didn't really tell you where to brake. It's just this little ribbon that's above your head that was telling you where you should go. You know, it's like almost like Crazy Taxi's arrows. But it's just this ribbon and you would follow it. And the ribbon didn't always... It didn't always seem to stay true to the path. And it would just... All of a sudden, it would just veer off. It was... It wasn't fun to follow to your next mission points. I need to, you know, I, I don't memorize roads in video games very well. The Grand Theft Auto Online, I've memorized a lot of roads because I've played it a ton. But like I said, I put three or 400 hours in that. I doubt the crew I'm going to put that much time into. And I doubt the crew too is going to get that much time. But it does look awesome going boats to planes and cars on the fly looks pretty sweet. Uh, and Ubisoft did push it back a little bit to kind of say we're going to try to make it a little bit better i like that ubisoft seems to be doing that lately where they're pushing games back and giving more development time uh, it just benefits the gamer to have a, a, a more polished game at launch than uh some of the crap that we've been getting you know that usually releases six months to a year way too early so uh bravo on them number four this is really the only switch game i could find that i really want right now hyrule warriors um yeah, Hyrule Warriors, the definitive edition. I've wanted this game for a while. I love the Dynasty Warriors series. I'm not a huge fan of Zelda, but the game looked awesome. So when it comes out, I need something else for the Switch. I'm going to get it, and I'm going to play it, and I'll probably enjoy the heck out of it. And, you know, it, these are also kind of gateway games for me as well. It's like maybe I'll get into a little bit more into the Zelda series. I keep saying buy Breath of the Wild, buy it, buy it, buy it, but I just don't. I just I can't get myself into it. Maybe this one will push me into it. Um, number two, this one's pretty much on everybody's top ten list for anticipated games of 2018. Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, <clears throat> Rockstar has kind of said that it's supposed to be out into Q1 or 2, something like that. Basically the spring, so anywhere from March to May is where they're where you're probably looking at this game coming out um i'm not so sure that's going to happen this game seems very ambitious not to mention grand theft auto online is still extremely successful so why would you really step on their toes um this game might need a little bit more polish 
but Rockstar will release a solid game no matter what. But it, they may push it back to holiday season of 2018 just to kind of let Grand Theft Auto Online make them a little bit more money before they take everybody's attention away and bring out Red Dead Redemption 2. Not saying that that would hurt the game. Hundreds of games have come out since Grand Theft Auto Online uh, debuted, and Grand Theft Auto Online is still strong. But Red Dead, Redemp you know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is a rock star game. It's an open world game. There is the potential for their online, excuse me again, to take away from Grand Theft Auto Online. If I was Rockstar, I would actually release Red Dead Redemption 2 at the holiday season, give my Grand Theft Auto Online a little bit more time to make me money, release Red Dead Redemption 2 in the holiday season, release Red Dead Redemption 2's online after the holiday season, release that one in like March. So I give my Grand Theft Auto Online a little bit more time to make me money. And then I launch Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, whereas I've made a ton of money still on my Grand Theft Auto Online. And now people are starting to go, well, where's Red Dead Redemption 2 Online? I wanna play it, I wanna play it, I wanna play it. And then it's like, I sit there and I go, oh, here it is, it's ready now. Maybe I even do it like January just to get through the holidays. Then you give it to them in January. The game's only been out maybe three months. Three months after the game comes out, you give them their Red Dead Redemption online because they've stopped playing Grand Theft Auto online because they're trying to anticipate what's coming from Red Dead Redemption online. Um, my, number, my number one game? You don't see this as anyone's number one list. You don't see this as number one on anybody's list. Forza Horizon 4. I'm a racing fan. Love the Forza series. There's problems with the Forza series, but I still love the Forza series. And this game, I don't know where it is. I did a video, Japan or Dubai. I don't know where it's going to be yet. Won't find that out until June in E3. But I love the Forza series, Forza Horizon and Motorsport. I cannot wait for this game to come out. I always, usually Forza games are my most anticipated games of the year. If, you, if I did a list in 2017, Forza Motorsport 7 would have been my most anticipated game. So it's not hard to figure that out. Probably next year in 2019. I don't think it's going to be Forza Motorsport 8 because Forza Motorsport, they've, they've got to fix some things. They've really got to fix... The Motorsport series has got to fix some things. It's becoming stale. So, and not to mention way too many trucks and off-road vehicles in a track-based game that has no dirt tracks. It's all asphalt or concrete tracks. Not the greatest place to race a Doom Buggy or a Polaris Razor. But I'm going to talk about that more in another video on another time and another day. Uh, so there you are. That's my top 10 games, most anticipated games of 2018. What are yours? What do you want to see? Do you think my list sucks? You probably do because you're going, I haven't even heard of the game Gravel. Spider-Man's way too low. And you're stupid. But that's okay. You can call me stupid. It doesn't bother me a bit. This is my list. You give me your list. You don't like my list, but if you do like the list, like it, subscribe. I, I still think I'm at three subscribers. It's, you know, it's bound to go up from there, right? I mean, it can't go much lo lower. So. so, with all that being said, to the troops, past, present, and future, thanks for the freedom.